Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Buckeye Sports Now. I'm Maggie Sprague and here is this week's top sports news. The Ohio State men's basketball team's NCAA tournament hopes were likely squandered Saturday night. The Buckeyes took on the 6-8 Nebraska Cornhuskers, and the result left the team speechless. I'm not sure. Um, I don't, I, I'm not trying to dodge a question. I'm, I'm like you. Don't pound it. I'm not really sure. The Buckeyes battled the Cornhuskers, who on average give up 75 points in conference and struggled offensively the entire night. At times, the team showed cohesiveness, taking an 11-point lead on the two separate occasions. But lackluster defense by the Bucks allowed Nebraska to stay in the game. At the final media timeout, the Buckeyes were up by 7 points and the team proceeded to beat themselves. Nebraska took the lead for the first time with 11 seconds left and took the win by keeping Jay Sean Tate off balance and un unable to get his shot off. Tate led the team with 14 points and Mark Loving and Trevor Thompson were right behind him both collecting 13. We played some decent basketball that are stretches but uh, down, the, down the wire I mean, I, we gotta get that the uh, best we can straightened out. The Buckeyes continue a home stand and take on Wisconsin Thursday night at 9. Lantern TV reporter Sam Block was at Friday night's men's volleyball game and brings you more. Friday night, the Ohio State men's volleyball team welcomed in the Quincy Hawks for an in-conference matchup. The Buckeyes started off the night very strong, opening the first set with a 10-1 lead. OSU would not look back, eventually winning the first 25-14. Before long, however, the Hawks would come back with authority. Playing with many reserves, Ohio State was not at the top of their game in the second, and Quincy was able to shock the Buckeyes, taking the set 25-22. to We missed a lot of serves in that second set, and they came out fired up after that first set. They didn't make very many errors, and we made a lot of hitting errors and serving errors, and I think that was what made the difference in that second set. These guys have been so good for so long that... Uh, I, I think as coaches, we you know expect the bar to be really high all the time, and I'm not sure that's realistic. You know, these kids are human; it is human nature to sometimes relax. After surprisingly dropping the second set, the Buckeyes came out in the third with vengeance, thoroughly dominating and winning it 25 to 15. In the fourth, a tough battle would ensue, but the Buckeyes were able to defeat Quincy 25-20 and route to their 3-1 victory over the Hawks. Nicholas Scherzen again led the Bucks in points with 21, and Ohio State was able to extend their winning streak to 37. Maggie Sprague has more for you on men's volleyball with a report from Ohio State's game on Sunday against Lindenwood. Two days later, the Buckeyes were back in action against Lindenwood, who has lost every game so far this season. Given the Lions' 0-12 record, you wouldn't expect the Buckeyes to give up a set. Ohio State took the first set by a relatively slight margin, winning 25 to 20, but the Buckeyes didn't look like their normal dominant selves in that set. Lindenwood, who had won just a single set in their previous three matches, took the second against Ohio State 25-22. I think we just lost focus at some points during those games, and that showed. I mean, I think that if we play to our potential that we don't lose those sets. The Buckeyes squeaked out the third, 25-21, before finishing with an impressive 25-16 victory. Ohio State blocked Lindenwood six times in, their, in the fourth en route to their 38th match win in a row. I think it was some of both. I think we made some bad swings, but I mean, we also had to give them some credit. I think they made some really good moves, got in front of us, and made some good blocks, yeah. Nicholas Scherzen led the team with 15 kills and three aces for the night. Ohio State heads to Phoenix this weekend to take on Grand Canyon at 9 on Friday and 3 on Sunday. If the Buckeyes take home two victories in Arizona, they will tie Loyola for the second longest winning streak in NCAA history. Ohio State will compete in the Men's Swimming Big Ten Championships from Wednesday to Saturday. OSU's men's hockey team welcomes Michigan to Columbus for a double dose of hockey Friday at 7 and Saturday at 5. The men's and women's track teams will head to Geneva, where Ohio State will take part in the Big Ten Championships on Friday and Saturday.
The Buckeyes women's lacrosse team has started out the season 3-0. They will look to remain undefeated as they play Stanford at 6 on Saturday and California at noon on Sunday. That's all from the Sports Desk. Make sure to tune in throughout the week for exclusive Ohio State coverage and stay tuned for next week's Buckeye Sports Now. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Snapchat and give us a like on Facebook. Thanks for watching.